Well, hello, and thank you so much for signing up for this course on the 70-473 Cloud Data Platform Solutions exam. My name is Scott Duffy. I say welcome to this course. That's me on screen. Now, we know that storing files and data in the cloud, quote unquote, is so prevalent, it's kind of become a cliche. Here's a comic strip. I'm uploading my data to the cloud. Guy's got a boomerang putting CDs uh, towards the sky. I'm pretty sure that's not how it's done. The goal of this course is to reduce the amount of time that you need to study for and pass the Microsoft certification exam 70-473 design and implement cloud data solutions. This exam breaks the objectives and topics of the exam down into bite-sized chunks. You'll see as I go through this course that I put the objectives of the exam on screen and we talk about them one by one by one. In this course, we're going to cover the following hybrid databases, SQL Server in a virtual machine, Azure SQL database, the Azure database for MySQL, the Azure database for PostgreSQL. We're going to talk about database security, high availability, scaling and performance tuning, business continuity and disaster recovery, and finally, monitoring and troubleshooting. You'll see here, that's an awful lot that's covered, but these are all of the objectives of the 70-473 exam. I'm going to assume that you do have a background in IT, whether you're a developer or you're an infrastructure IT pro, you've got some sort of background in technology. You've got to be sort of familiar with basic database concepts like what a relational database is or what indexes or foreign keys are. In this course, we're not going to go uh, too deep into database table creation and, and the way that databases work because that's not the purpose of the exam. This course focuses on the knowledge required to pass the 70-473 exam. You're going to want to apply what you learn immediately. So I go through the course as a series of slides, but I also switch over into the Azure portal and show you how I implement these things. And I'm going to recommend that you're going to do the same. You're going to have an Azure account, whether it's free or paid, and you're going to create yourself databases. You're going to modify them, create them, destroy them, etc. I would not try to get this course completed in a day or in two days. You might be able to sit and watch the videos within that time, but take your time to learn the concepts, let your brain absorb them, let it soak in, practice. Don't rush it too fast. Thanks a lot for tuning in and let's get into the course.